hello everyone and a very warm welcome to today's tutorial in today's tutorial we are going to go ahead and address a problem in power apps the problem is there on your screen when you go ahead and deploy the app to the end users the end users are getting authentication prompt and you don't want this authentication prompt to be visible my name is Clavin and I work as a technical consultant you can go ahead and find my blogs at clavinfernandez.wordpress.com and my Twitter handle is at the rate Clavin Fernandez. Also feel free to connect to me over LinkedIn. So without wasting any further time, let's get into the problem scenario. So this is what the problem looks like. I have deployed my app or I have shared the app to my end user and when he tries to log in, it's prompting for a credentials. Now there are multiple ways that I can think of. First, creating a individual licenses for all users but it goes ahead and increases the complexity of the app and also manual process which we are going to go ahead and find a workaround for this app uh, so that the end users do not see this prompt so let me go ahead and show you the app from the user perspective so when I developed the app the app looks like this when I launch the app I do not see any prompts out here I can go ahead and type in my name I can click an image and I can click on the button right so this will go ahead and trigger a power automate which looks something like this and if you look at the power automate it has few actions and if you look in closely at the prompt problem there are two connectors that are coming up right one is SharePoint and one is the Mohimbi so if the end user has got access to SharePoint he doesn't have to sign in he can just go ahead and click on allow and it will sign in but when it comes to Muhimbi connector it seems that the end user does not have a login right and we are using the Muhimbi connector out here so we need to go ahead and decouple this flow in such a way that this Muhimbi connector prompt should not come up when we trigger it from power apps so let's go ahead and try to understand the power apps first and then we'll come back to power automate and then we'll start decoupling the flow so I'll go back to my power apps and the power apps is very simple to be very honest it has a button and the button has got the following formulas so if I just show you the formulas it looks like this I'm creating a collection and in the collection the collection name is control collection and I'm passing in two controls one is the text input which is which will go ahead and which will be stored in the name column for the collection and then I have a camera dot photo and it's stored in the image next what I do I use the JSON function and I go ahead and con convert the control collection into binary and then I go ahead and set the whole JSON function to a JSON where variable finally I clear the collection because next time when a new user does this the collection should be clear and it should have updated values and finally I go ahead and invoke my power automate right so this is what it does so if I go back to power my power automate it's very simple I go ahead and pass a variable known as JSON var so the variable gets stored out here then I initialize a variable of type XHTML I go ahead and pass the JSON such that it gives me the image and it gives me the name so then I go ahead and have an apply to each loop it automatically gets added because it thinks because the output of JSON pass JSON function is an array and then I get it get the name and the image I decorate it with some HTML and then I convert it into PDF so if you look at this the problem is here right uh, the convert document so what comes to my mind is this what if I break the flow into two pieces what if I decouple the flow decouple the flow in such a way that I will create the document but I'll not convert it so first if you see I'm creating an HTML right so let me go ahead and first copy this formula I'll remove this operation from here I'll hit OK go back to my create action and instead of creating a PDF I'll go ahead and create an HTML but for this demo I see that 
my PDF is getting created in Power Apps library. I should go ahead and create a different library altogether which can go ahead or maybe a hidden library which can store my HTML. So let me go ahead and do that. So I'm in the Power Automate tutorial site and let me go ahead and create a library and this library I'll name it the hidden library because this is just a temporary placeholder for my HTML file. So, so the idea out here is to go ahead and store the HTML file in a hidden folder. So this is the folder. So let me go back and let me change the library. So this time it's going to be the hidden library instead of the actual library. So let me see the hidden library is here and instead of creating the PDF what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create the HTML. So I'm using a formula that is going to go ahead and get the f name from the parse JSON. Okay, I'll just quickly show you the formula on the notepad. It's pretty simple, no rocket science behind it. So it's going ahead and querying the body of the parse JSON and it's taking the first element. Obviously we have one element only and it's going ahead and getting me the name variable. The name that I go ahead and create in Power Apps. Okay, and finally I go ahead and pass in the XHTML. Now I go ahead and save my flow. I go back here. So this is very important, right? I need to go ahead and remove this. Click on the button again. So I need to, I'll click on the button. I'll click on Power Automate and I'll use the Convert Demo. The Convert Demo is the name of my flow. Okay, so it seems that it's adding the flow to my Power Apps. So here I'm going to pass in the JSON variable but if you see the JSON variable is not there because we have removed the other formulas. So let me quickly add these formulas back in here. Right and now I can say something like JSON var. So the JSON var variable is available now. So now I do not have an error. Next what I want to do is I want to go ahead and save my app. And I need to publish the new version of the app so that the end users get the new version of the app. So I'll go back here. I'll cl close this. I'll refresh my screen. So now the u end user Alex should have the new version of the app and he should not see the Mohembi prompt. So let me just wait for a minute. And now I'll click on the app. So the app is opening now. And now you see it does not have the Mohembi prompt. But is our problem resolved? No, right? Our problem still exists. We don't have a PDF in the final library. How can we go ahead and address that? To address that, let me go back to my user or the admin user. I'll go back to Power Automate and I'll create a new flow. And this time I'm going to create an automated flow. So I'll skip it. And if you are guessing and if you are with me, you know which trigger that I'm going to use. I'm going to use a file is created trigger, okay, or a file is created properties only. And this particular trigger is going to get associated on the hidden library, right? Now what I can do, I have the properties, I can get the file content, so I'll type in SharePoint. file content is here. I can say get file content directly perhaps. I'll just type in power automate tutorials. Is convert this file into a PDF using the Mohembi action. Remember the original flow does not have traces of Mohembi. We have decoupled it into two flows such that whenever a file gets automatically created in here it gets picked up and it goes ahead and converts the file into a PDF. In the source file I'll use the file name and extension which is the output of the created file action and in the file content I'm going to use the output of the get file content action. Finally I'm going to go ahead and create the file into my SharePoint library and if you remember it I want to go ahead and create it into the PDF's Power Automate library. 
so power automate tutorials the folder path would be the PDF power apps and power automate here I'll go ahead and give it base file name dot PDF and then I'll go ahead and say processed file content I'll save it right so now if everything works fine I should go ahead and have a PDF without a prompt so let me go back to this end user I'll click on allow so I'm logged in with Alex right now who is actually an end user not an admin and the app is getting ready so I'll just type in Alex demo I'll go ahead and click a picture and I'll click on the button right so the flow is going the ants are marching so now if I go back I see that there's Alex demo being created okay Alex demo gets created no problem but there's something wrong with the flow with the flow one it's not taking the extension but let's go ahead and fix that the flow name is convert demo so here you see the HTML got missing so I'll just quickly save it as well so not making any big changes so let's go back to the user Alex and let's do let's fill in the form again so I'll say Alex demo 2 I'm going to go ahead and click an image and I'm going to click on the button so this should trigger the flow you see the ants are marching so first and foremost we need to go back and we need to go back to the hidden library so in the hidden library you see Alex demo 2.html got created let's go back to power automate out here um, this one PDF power automate the flow has not yet created so we need to wait for the second flow to get triggered So if you see out here my flow is running so flow automatically got triggered automatically picked up the document the HTML it has finished the conversion and here if I go back you see Alex demo 2 is being created we should have my image and Alex demo 2 as text now you can go ahead and also delete the source HTML at the end of it so here you see how you can go ahead and work around the problem and you can get around the prompts I have another demo for you in which we are going to use a parent child relationship in flow and which will go ahead and remove the dependency of SharePoint as well so I hope this session was informative and thank you for listening see you in the next session bye bye